Smokeless Chimneys, September 2023. Startup Blues, the best flames on the net. Getting our wood stove started again, uh, I had taken quite a bit of it apart, and I also had some ideas for making it work better. This S244 stove from SBI does not have any low combustion air vents into the fire chamber. Uh, my idea was to put some small holes in the riser tube at the back of the wood stove. This is the tube that takes air up to the secondary burner area. And if I put some small holes in there, uh, let's say three, uh, six millimeters or a quarter inch or so, then I can get some air to the coals to get the coals nice and bright. I, th I thought that's what this stove needs. Now, this is not a modification I would recommend anyone do. This is uh, my favorite bit, a unibit, and we'll see how it goes here. Wow, one drill and three holes. That was nice. So these three holes will provide combustion air to the coals at the bottom of the firebox. We'll come back to this. The next subject is light sensors. This is the TS, uh, TCS 347. Oh my goodness. 3472. <laughs> uh, this is the light sensor. It's got four diodes, red, green, blue, and clear. The LED has to be turned off, and you can see I have the LED pin shorted out with a black wire. This prevents the LED from coming on when you're using it. It would, it's not what we want in our use case. We then put it in a backing plate that it orients it to the center of the target area. I like to use a black wire or a white wire to short out the LED and a red, green, or blue might uh, influence the sensor. So what does this little light sensor do for us? Well, we can measure the light impacting this sensor in intensity and color. This is a graph we collected. Now, the control system was not working well. I had some parts disconnected. However, it is controlling on opacity. So when we get a high opacity reading, the fan turns on and knocks it down. This is the color graph. And there's a lot going on here that we just don't know about. We're going to watch the flames around these three air, combustion air ports that I put in. You can see the patterns in the flames that uh, show where they are. But look at the coals around this area. They're glowing brightly, and that is what we were looking for. So we want coal invigorating combustion air down by the coals, and this wood stove only had air coming in from the top which made it not really get to the coals at times or it was uh, depleted of oxygen when it got down to the coals so this appears to be working now this is not a modification I recommend anyone else do however in my use case it appears to be performing the intended task of keeping the coals glowing brightly
Smokeless Chimney, www.smokelesschimney.com, Facebook, Reddit, and YouTube.